Um, thank you, uh, Terry Jimbo with Video News. Kosono san, um, this is so unlike you. Um, you are the most sensible minister in the cabinet. Look inside, look inside your tiny mind, and look a bit harder. Along all these, uh, you know, press conferences and everything um, during the uh, accident. But this time, I don't think you're making sense. Because we're so uninspired, so sick and tired of all the hatred you harbor. You have said you don't know where the nuclear fuel yes, is. Yes. You have said meltdown, melt through might have occurred. It is likely that the fuel is not, no longer inside the pressure chamber. Right. So you say it's not okay to be gay. Well, I think you're just evil. And you don't say, you also say, you don't know where the fuel is. You're just some racist who can't tie my laces. Your point of view is medieval. But you say fuel is cooled down. And stable, how can you be sure that something is cool down safely when you don't you don't know where it is and what's the rush why do you have to say the call shut down now you have to declare it now No one's going to believe it if you say it now, you know, on this condition. Do you get, do you get a little kick out of being small-minded? Why do you have to, you, what's the rush that you have to say it now when you don't know where the fuel is? You have to acknowledge that. You want to be like your father, it's approval you're after. Well, that's not how you find it. And uh, uh, the investigation into the accident is not released yet. You don't know what the cost the accident yet and why 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 hurry okay, okay, okay. do you do you really enjoy living a life that's so hateful because there's a whole way your soul should be you losing control of it and it's really distasteful i'm using that with jimbo the uh, harshest question from my friend mr jimbo <laughs> And then in regard to where the uh, nuclear fuel might be, uh, there are three possibilities. Uh, one is that uh, the nuclear fuel is still in the pressure uh, vessel. Uh, the uh, next possibility is that it might have gone through, melted through the uh, pressure vessel and come into the containment vessel. And the third possibility is that it might have worked its way uh, out through the containment vessel and be underneath it. In regard uh, to the temperature at the bottom of the pressure vessel and in regard to the temperature within the containment vessel, as has been uh, shown to you uh, through the documents that have been presented to you, the temperatures in these two areas are all under 100 degrees. In regard to that third possibility uh, that some uh, fuel uh, might have worked its way uh, out through the uh, containment vessel and gone underneath it, um, I think there's a very strong possibility, where we think there's a strong possibility that some fuel is actually in that location as well. Japan's nuclear crisis minister says he wants to make Fukushima Prefecture an international center to promote nuclear safety. You say you think we need to go to war while well, you're already in one. Gorshi Hosanoi envisions setting up an institute where specialists would be trained and advanced radiological medicine would be studied. Because it's people like you that need to get slew. No one wants your opinion.
Fukushima Prefecture will be a relevant venue for the world to learn about the basic principles of nuclear safety. In an interview with NHK, Hosono said the institute would also help people learn about the long process of scrapping the reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The work is expected to take 30 to 40 years. We will conduct advanced work in areas such as radiological medicine and decontamination. Lessons learned must be available to the rest of the world. Hosono also said his ministry will work to develop robots that will be used to remove spent fuel rods and dispose of the damaged reactors.